What's going on everyone? My name is Patterson. Today we're back with another top 5. No, 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 no. Top 10. Top 10 list today. That's right, we have a top 10 list today because originally I was going to do top 5 worst Pokemon designs. But, um, you know, I just decided that there were so many Pokemon with bad designs that I just have to have a top 10 list. So, that is why we have a top 10 list instead of a top 5 list today. And as you, s you heard before, it is going to be a top 10 worst Pokemon design. So, get your flame shields ready, get your hateful comments, because I know I'm going to have someone's favorite Pokemon in this list. And, to be honest, it's not really Pokemon I don't like, it's more designs I don't like. So, I can still like the Pokemon and, you know, hate its design. It's like, they're two different things. I mean, its design might have an effect on what I think about the Pokemon, but, like, overall, I still might like the Pokemon. But, yeah, that's enough uh, ranting and stuff. This came from the Twitter vote. I asked which po which top 5 or top 10 people would like to see, and it was an overwhelming in favor of the top 10 worst Pokemon designs. The other option was, I believe, top five best gym designs because I did the worst gym designs but uh, the the worst uh, Pokemon designs won out so that's what we're gonna do today and we're gonna start with number 10 so kicking off the list of top 10 worst design Pokemon is actually not one but many many Pokemon and it is the let's just add some more Pokemon designs that we see so very many times especially in the first generation and everyone says like oh the first generation Pokemon are the best designed that's not entirely true because a lot of them were incredibly lazy and I'm sorry I'm just gonna say they're really lazy for example you know Diglett Dog Trio let's add two more Diglets. And call that evolution. Magneton will add two more Magnemites. Starmie will sell a tape of fucking Staryu back to back with another Staryu. And then we'll paint it uh, purple or something. I don't know. And there's also the non-evolutions, which is like Executude. Oh, Execute. Oh my god. And <laughs> wow, I messed that up. And, um, you know, some of them aren't so bad. And I do like the Pokemon. Don't get me wrong. I still do like the Pokemon. I still do like a majority of the first generation Pokemon. I just feel like it's lazy design. Not a really bad design because they still look kind of cool. But uh, some of them are just bad. And uh, I don't really... I don't like how they went about making those Pokemon. So um, that is why... The first, uh, the first entry on the list is gonna be the let's add some more Pokemon. As in, let's just sellotape something to it and we'll call it an evolution. Let's just make a group of eggs or something, I don't know, and we'll call it a Pokemon. And, um, I know that some Pokemon do it a little bit better. For example, um, the Hydreigon evolution line, they add a head every evolution, but they at least make it look different. They don't just, like, slap it on there and be like, yup, that's, uh, that's a new Pokemon. But uh, I've been rambling on a bit too much for this one. We're going to move on to number 9. Number 9. Alright, so coming in at number 9 today is going to be Mana. And I don't really know why I don't like this thing. And maybe because it's a bit too childish and girly for me. And I don't really think that's much of an excuse. But if you look at this thing, I don't really know what this thing is supposed to be. Is it supposed to be like a flying pig or something? And can I just ask, what the hell is that thing on like the right side of its face? If that is supposed to be its nose, then... <laughs> or a nostril. That would just be ridiculous. Like, it's bigger than its eye. Jesus Christ. I d it's just like a, a pink circle on the body. And also, I don't really like the floral patterns. It, it doesn't really... I don't like it at all. I'm sorry. It's something about Mana that just puts me off. I think Mushrena or whatever, how you pronounce that name. I think that one's pretty cool. But Mana just really puts me off for some reason. I don't like the look of it at all. Maybe it's because it's so basic in its design. It just has some flowers and, well, pink and... I will put an eye there, and there you go, and there you go, but I don't know. That is why I don't like Muna, and uh, that is why Muna is number 9. Not entirely the worst, but definitely not the best. Number 8. So, coming in at number 8 is going to be Maractus, and I bet you forgot about this one. I bet you forgot where this one even existed, and it's kind of a problem with Generation 5. They introduced so many new Pokemon. I think it is the most Pokemon they've ever introduced since Generation 1. They introduced so many new Pokemon that everyone just kind of forgot about them. They weren't important, and they were pretty irrelevant, which is why I kind of think they fixed it in Generation 6 by reducing the amount of uh, Pokemon they're going to introduce, and they include Mega Evolutions or something. Something that stands out more, and... Uh, make more impact, I guess, on the, the game. But yes, Maractus, you probably forgot about this one because it's really not got anything special about it. I really feel like this thing could uh, fit in better as a mid-volution between Cacne and Cacturn. That's just me. And by the way, this thing has fucking flowers on it. I don't know why it's supposed to be a cactus. It is not supposed to have flowers on it. I, I just don't like Maractus. Unfortunately, of all the shinies I could have gotten, I found a shiny Maractus. Number eight. Number seven. 
number seven is going to be Mr. Mime. Now, let me just preface this by saying that I never liked clowns as a child, and that's probably what's got to do with me liking Mr. Mime's design either. I, I don't think he's a bad Pokemon, to be honest. I think he's a pretty good Pokemon. You know, he has decent uh, stats, got good special stats, and um, I don't think he's that bad of a Pokemon, but his design is super creepy. I mean, just look at this guy. He's trying to be a person. He's even got five fingers. Like, most fucking cartoon fucking characters don't have five fingers. He's got the whole Pikachu cheeks. I don't know what he's doing with Pikachu cheeks, but okay. He's got the Krusty Clown uh, little hair thing is going on there, and he's got his little curled shoes. He has shoes! Why does he have shoes? He has, like, knee pads or something. He's gonna play rugby or something. I don't know what he's playing. And I just always found him to be, like, really creepy. And I, I can't really place an exact reason why, apart from the fact that he does this weird sort of miming thing on X and Y. You'll probably see it in this video on the gameplay part. But I, it, I, it's not, it's not good. I don't like it. He shouldn't be a Pokemon. He's more like a person. He's more like a person pretending to be Pokemon. He's like, come on, kids. Capture me. Capture me, children. And I really just don't like Mr. Mime, which is why he's going to be number seven on today's list. Number six. Coming in at number six is going to be Plusle and Minin. And no, they're not two different Pokemon, okay? They're not two different Pokemon. They're the same fucking Pokemon, all right? If Gastrodon has an east side and a west side, then these two are the exact same Pokemon as well. And Jesus Christ, what can we say about Plusle and Minin? Can I just, I just say that I really just don't like these Pokemon as a whole? Number one, they're Pikachu ripoffs. They are Pikachu ripoffs, and they're blatant Pikachu ripoffs. They even, they look, they have the same design. They have the same pretty much exact design as Pikachu. Number two, they suck. I really don't like them. Number three, they like to power hacks you all fucking day. That's nothing to do with their design, but I just really don't like these Pokemon as a whole. In terms of their design, okay, we can tell it's a Pikachu ripoff, but what makes it so much worse than the other Pikachu ripoff, ripoffs? Well, the fact that they have to have two different Pokemon, like, um, you know, we're, we're kind of running low on Hoenn Pokemon. Do you want to just copy and paste it and put a minus on it? And everyone's like, yes, great, that's an amazing idea, please do that. It's like, no, they shouldn't be two different Pokemon, they shouldn't have two different things if, I don't know, like I used an example before, Gastrodon doesn't, I, I just don't like these Pokemon as a whole. And I think their designs are pretty crappy as well. So which is why Plusle and Minin are going to be number six on today's list. Number five. Claiming the number five spot today is gonna be Dunsparce and wow, <laughs> what can we say about this failure right here? I'm sorry if you like Dunsparce. I know there are a lot of people out there who just like Dunsparce because it's not the most popular Pokemon. In fact, most people hate it. Most people kind of share my opinions on the subject, but uh, a lot of people like Dunsparce and I'm sure that I'm trampling on other people's opinions with these other Pokemon on the list as well, but Dunsparce seems to have a lot of, uh, a lot of fans and well, I don't like Dunsparce. I really don't like its design either. It's like, it's supposed to be like six foot long or something. I'm not entirely sure if that's right. I'm gonna have to check up on that. But it's supposed to be like really long and tall and stuff. And it's just, it feels like it should be like one foot long. It's got those Brock eyes where it never opens. It's got, okay, those, that, his mouth is kind of cool. There's spikes on there. It's like a, like a spiky mustache. No, a spiky beard or something. That's okay. But then it's got wings. What the fuck does it do with wings? It doesn't even have arms, and what the hell is its tail? I don't understand what they were thinking when they made this thing, like, yep, this is, uh, this is gonna be a great Pokemon. People are gonna love this Pokemon. I know it wasn't supposed to be, like, the Pikachu ripoff, because one, it doesn't look like Pikachu, and, uh, two, they had Meryl and stuff, so... I really don't know what they were thinking with this. They already had the generic normal type going for them, so, in Johto, I, I don't know where this thing came from. But it's never really seen use in competitive, uh, battles, apart from, like, Searing Grace flinching hacks, which is... Um, just, just a terrible, terrible tactic that I don't, uh, approve of either. But, um, yeah, so Dunsparce is gonna be number five on today's list. Number four. So, at number four on today's list, we have Trubbish and Grimer. And, uh, don't you start this. Don't, I know you, I can see you typing in the comment section. How dare you put Grimer in the same slot as Trubbish? Trubbish is obviously the inferior Pokemon. And, well, no, they're both pretty much the garbage Pokemon, I guess, the the piles of shit Pokemon, if you want to swear, I don't know what you want to call them, but I see these Pokemon as essentially the same, and their evolutions are no different either in their designs. They're pretty much the thrown away stuff Pokemon. I, like, seriously, I don't even know how Grimer has a good design. How, how do people think Grimer has a good design? It's, it's literally... A pile of sludge with eyes and a mouth. Um, I don't, I don't really understand that, but okay. People seem to like Grimer. It's okay if you like Grimer. I'm, I, I kind of like Grimer as a Pokemon, but its design is just not good. And then we have Trubbish. 
the fifth generation punching bag that just everyone seems to hate. Everyone seems to everyone seems to um, hate on when uh, when fifth generation comes up. That along with Vanillaite and and the such and the like. But I'm gonna put these on two, uh, these two in the same slot just because I don't feel like they're any different from each other. I feel like they're they're both the same thing. Troubleshoot Grimer number four. Number three. Starting off the final three, we are going to have the Pokeball Pokemon. And my god, did we really need a Pokeball Pokemon? Just think about the red for a second. Are we gonna have a Potion Pokemon next? Are we gonna have an Aether Pokemon next? How about Repel? Escape Rope? I don't know! Why do we have Pokeball Pokemon? I really, I, I just don't... Okay, okay, let's, let's go Voltorb. Um, maybe it was like a science experiment that went wrong, and now there's Voltorb going around and it evolves into Electrode, which is Voltorb turned upside down. No! Come on! That's not a good design at all. It's literally... Okay, we're gonna have a circle and um, we're gonna have eyes on it. It's gonna be half red and half uh, white. It's gonna be great. No, come on now. That's not good at all. Moving on to Fungus. Wow. I... I don't have words for how disgusting this thing is. I literally do not even have words. What? Why does it have a Pokeball on its head? Why? Was that evolution? No, because if it evolved, it would be a Moongus. <laughs> yeah, okay, it would have been a Moongus, but that has Pokeballs in it too. I, I don't understand the Pokeball Pokemon. They're, they're stupid. I don't like them at all. Um, if you like Voltorb or Electrode, Fungus or Moongus, then I'm sorry. Their designs are shitty. Number two. Claiming the silver medal for today's top 10 list is going to be Scatterbug. And you know I had to have a 6th generation Pokemon on here. The 6th generation is new, and I feel like... One of the worst designs that came out of that generation has got to be Scatterbug. I don't know what it is about it. It's probably because its head is like 10 times the size of its body. Uh, of course, I'm exaggerating that a bit. But it is larger than its body. And it has those like three little hair things at the top. And it just, it just, it just looks funny to me. I have no idea why. I, I don't think it's like... It's not a bad, bad design like Voltorb or Amoongus or fucking Voongus or I don't know. But it's just a funny design and I really... It has one tooth, what the fuck? And uh, I don't think it's evolution as uh, Spupa is any better. Of course, it does redeem itself when it gets to Vivalon. I do think that has a good design. I like the, the butterfly Pokemon generally. I think they're pretty good uh, in terms of design. But I really think that Scatterbug has failed it. And I really think it's failed its uh, generic bug type brethren like Wyrmple and Caterpie when it comes to its design because it just looks funny. And that's why <laughs> Scatterbug is going to be number two in today's list. Number one. So, number one today is gonna be Feebas, and oh my god, this thing looks sad. I, I can't even critique this thing because I feel like I would hurt his feelings too much. But Jesus, this is just... It is just sad. I, I don't know how else to explain it. I At least Magikarp had some redeeming features. It was at least a little bit happy. Had some bright red coloring, uh, had those little whiskers. But this just looks like a dead goldfish. I really don't... I really don't know why they made um, a Milotic have such a, an ugly, horrible pre-evolution where they're trying to do like an ugly duckling type thing like, oh, this Feebas was cast out because it was so ugly, then it evolved into a beautiful Milotic and everyone loved him. It's like, what? Why, why did you do this to the poor thing? It didn't need to be that ugly. And like I said, Magikarp has redeeming features at least, even though it is just as bad as Feebas. I feel like Feebas is a bit better in battle, but when it comes to design, Feebus loses out big time. So uh, that's going to be my top 10. I'm sure you've left your, left your dislike and your nasty comment by now. Uh, please don't. If you enjoyed this, please leave a like. I know if, if, if even if you disagree with some of the, the Pokemon on this list, you know, it's it's got more to do with my opinion. And um, I value you, you guys' opinion as well. So, you know, you can leave your comments in the in the comment section. Obviously, you're not going to leave it anywhere else, are you? <laughs> you can leave your opinions on the comment section, uh, and I will respect your opinion, so if you respect mine, you can have a great time! Oh my god, that was a rhyme! Oh my god, <laughs> more rhyming. Um, but yeah, so, that's going to be about it for today. There's a lot of honorable mentions. I'm not going to mention them because there's too many. Maybe I'll show them, maybe not, but, uh... <laughs> Yeah, that's gonna be it. So I hope you enjoyed this. Um, hope you left a like if you did enjoy and be sure to share your own opinions once again in the comment section below. That's gonna be it for today. I'm um, gonna thank you all very much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.